<laughs> hey folks, sorry. <laughs> I was a little late to that time. I am getting a little old. I got some good uh, We're on the third year anniversary. I'm just waiting for my stream to come up here. We got a few things changed on this stream. And so just give me a second. Should pop up. Hi everybody. Mickey, Ninth Wave, John, Adam, Kerry, Perfect Print, Red Button Studio. Stacy, hi Stacy, Lane, Radioactive Banana, Standing Foot, David. Oh, oh gee, there I am with the big head again. What the hell? Hang on. Just waiting for my stream to come up here. We got a few things changed on this stream. Okay, well, a big friggin' err. I actually, I'm actually not that big as I look in the video if anybody hasn't been here before. Hellos. Carrie, DC. Let me see, did I miss anybody that time? Tree. Dana tossed the boy, okay, bud. Yeah, I'm back. Worn out. Hundred over hundred videos, hundred and ten videos, full videos like this. Hey, uh, Ken Buesler got censored up on USA Today. Haha, <laughs> nothing about bananas. Nothing about the the normal junk. That's pretty weird. Uh, Drudge Report had him up there on the front page. Um, it's mainstream media, Drudge Report is. 100% mainstream media. That's all he got in his links all below it. And that's the stories he links to, mostly CBS. And a few of the bootlickers. Hi, Missing Sky. Fans Filtration, hi. Thank you. What you do? Uh, M Thirst, fix, fix, fix it, stupid. Michael Hand, Robert, Richie, Hi. yeah, there we go. So it usually takes me a few minutes. Anybody wonder what's going on here? If the stream is to your left and you're showing up on the video, we're live. If the comments are below the video, it means the video is rendered. It usually takes 15 minutes to an hour to two hours. Am I protect a government asset? Hang on, let's talk to uh, Dana, you brain damaged cripple. <laughs> so we got a troll at our side. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Dana, you brain damaged cripple. <laughs> okay, whatever. So if all you got is to call me names, then you're in a lot of trouble. Um, ooh, what happened there? I got no idea. That's some pretty creepy stuff though when people show up and they just call you names. They don't actually try to argue or debate you. That never happens to me. Nobody actually tries to debate. Right? They'll try to nanny me if I got a whole hour. But Ken Buesler got censored up on USA Today. Major headline. Drudge Report. The biggest aggregator of crap out there. But the biggest aggregator of the media out there. And Drudge had him up in the top left-hand corner. He's moved down the page tonight. And Ken Buesler got censored, right? Because we had won, right? So the, the guy who was writing about him, writing the story about Ken, just like National Geographic, just like Deep Sea News, just like uh, all, all the creepy buggers out there. Hi, Megan Rice. See, there's the next video I got to do, Megan Rice. I got to do a good job on that one. That's extremely. And then I got to keep that out there. Thank you so much for coming back to my site, Megan Rice. Supporter. It's not like I forget. Girl's channel is still active. Anyone cares to get a view. <laughs> Moments not anymore. I dominate. <laughs> Just don't worry about it, folks. I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> They're ready for us tonight. There'll be no easy pats here tonight. <laughs> that is so friggin' funny. Uh, so, 
tonight, you know, there's uh, Journeyman Pictures up here on YouTube has just for a couple of days got a documentary up there that's free to watch. And just give me a second, I'll bring that up. I got to keep up with the with the crazies. Okay, hang on. Let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of that. Let me bring up the name of that so you can go find it. I should have had that link down below it. It's worth watching. Watch the whole bloody thing, okay? Children of the Tsunami, the heartbreaking story of Fukushima survivors. I'm up to 37 minutes, 58 minutes long. It's a much watch, right? But it's a documentary that you have to pay for. So if you download it, don't re-upload it onto your site because they'll ding you for it, okay? But it's worth having your collection. Uh, just uh, heartbreaking stuff. I'm not going to tell you, but it is just, uh, it is worth, it's worth watching anyway. Let me, let me go off into um, documenting a genocide, which is uh, the name that I temporarily got attached to my documentary. And it's not really a documentary, it's a presentation. I'm not capable of making a documentary, I don't think. It's a good presentation, though. Um, I got a little one coming out tomorrow for the Fukushima mass murders third anniversary. It's a sober look. I uh, kept my voice really level. I'm not swearing. I'm just going through the headlines. Just the odd ones. These are all the odd ones. I probably won't. Uh, I guess they might make it into a documentary. But they're what I call the extras. And my screen captures. I got over a gigabyte picked out. That I, That's what I got to whittle down to. I should say. 1.15 gigabytes of uh, screen captures of headlines about Fukushima, about the radiation, about it coming across the oceans, about it going in the ocean, about a Canada, uh, Japan one in from the other end. Uh, you know, I was thinking just before I came online that what what did I want to what did I want to put out there tonight? After two days of just grinding through all of this stuff, trying to get a documentary out there, a presentation out there. I realized that something like that, what I'm doing there, I just can't rush it out there. Uh, but I, but I, like I'm, it's ready to go out there, but I've done it four times. So just a long story short for everybody is, I'm, the, the document, uh, the presentation that I'm gonna be putting out, you know, it, it, it uh, really affected me because I have the whole package. And so I'm very conscious of that, of how that might impact other people. And so the video, uh, the documentary will start off with cancer cures. So at least people got something to fall back on if it frightens them. And, but I'm not here to sugarcoat things. I'm not here um, to mask anything or to make anything up, even though the trolls will have you think different, but we know all about the trolls <laughs> and we, uh, the whole point of what I do every night, and what the Fukushima, the hounds of Fukushima, as I call the people, uh, not not the people necessarily that come to my site, but the people that are trying to find out about Fukushima, I call that the hounds. That's in my mind, I refer to that as the hounds of Fukushima. And that if I can educate those people, because that's the only ones you can reach, uh, then we got a different narrative than bananas or walking in the sunshine or potatoes in the equation of radioactive isotopes or radioactive decay or uh, what's really going on down there. How they, when I came aboard this heavily, say a little less than four months ago, it was surprising and still is how hard it was to actually get the entire story. Uh, the first thing you hear is that nobody died from Fukushima, Diachi, military industrial complex, which only makes directed energy weapons. And that's what the isotopes are for in nuclear power plants. They're all about that, okay? Okay, here we go. How much I can do? Don't let the trolls get under your skin too much. Uh, if you're reading this the comments later on, that they're... You can do as much work as you want, you can be as honest as you want, you can tell nothing but the headlines and they'll still come in and employ 
um, and lie and manipulate. And of course, they're out in full swing now because this is the third anniversary. So they're in damage control right now. We took down their mouthpiece, who they've been parading out for the last couple of months heavily, Ken Busler, a Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. I should really say whenever I talk about that. Because that's who's behind it, is Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Hi, fans for Tracian. Thank you. Thank you, Richie. We're looking good. We're off to a go. I'm not sure what's going on here. My comment section is all screwed up. They're gone out in the censorship mode, so just let me uh, dispel a few of these fables that they got out there. Once I'm set up here. And uh, how many accounts is that? The trolls got up. I mean, Night Dana Durham for Chinoofy? That's kind of weird. Let's see what else we got there. <laughs> how many accounts is that? I blocked on you already. We're on a. 10 minutes in the video and I got five of your accounts blocked there already. And you haven't said one thing yet about arguing with what I'm saying. I'll just block you all night long, I don't care. I'm easy. Okay, here we go. Fukushima worker had a heart attack by working at reactor number one. October 22nd, 2011, he was only 31 years old. Radiation around Fukushima near levels where humans vomit uncontrollably. And hair can be stripped from the body, March the 14th, 2011. Two high school students in the same school died at once, February 26, 2012. Japan discusses personal health problems, strange deaths, seven people die in a single street. Reporter says he heard the ambulances at Fukushima plant ten times a day. Another Fukushima worker, cleanup worker, has died, found collapsed. He did. January 17, 2012, but nobody died, Dana. Birds are unable to fly, Dana, but uh, nobody died, Dana. Some are unable to read that are working there, Dana, but everything is fine, Dana. Uh, they're letting underage people in there. That's all filmed and documented. But don't worry, Dana. TEPCO's got your best interest in mind. The CCM only attacks the heart right away, so it's no big deal, Dana. Go back to sleep, January 11th. Study uh, cesium attacks the heart right away. Fireman dies after working in Fukushima. Vomited blood frequently and then died. Hospital, 40% of Fukushima visitors show internal exposure to radiation. 40%, but nobody got affected, Dana. You should go watch that documentary on Journeyman Pictures before you tell me lies. Over 1,000 nuclear workers, internal radiation, 10,000 counts per minute. After working in an affected area, four workers have died. Victims of leukemia and heart attacks. Report indicates five Fukushima workers have most likely received a fatal dose. Workers die by decontaminating in Fukushima. How many headlines do you want to hear about this? Extreme cases and increases of mortality caused by cardiac. Because cesium attacks the heart. <laughs> that was up. Uh, the deaths are up. 12,700. I send out hugs to all their loved ones. Fukushima Diachi worker dies have been preparing cover for Unit 3. These are all headlines. It's not me. I'm not making that up. I'm just saying here's a bunch of headlines. 40% of Fukushima visitors at the hospitals. Hey, by the way, the hospitals are owned by Tebco. <laughs> That'll come into play here in a moment. I'm going to dump that. Japan government looking for kamikaze de decontamination workers for prefecture. Fukushima prefecture. Look that fucking headline up. Excuse the language. Just hang on a second, though. I just want you to understand what really happened. That's all I'm uh, doing. Bad, bad trolls really cannot. Okay, let's keep going on that one. We're on another folder. We're on the... the uh, the explosions, the ejections of the cores, the tossings of the rods. Special report. Plutonium levels suggest fuel rods were shattered during the hydrogen explosion. Japan races to contain meltdown. I'm sorry, what was that? Washington Post? Meltdown? Third blast. Third reactor loses cooling capacity. March 13, 2011. 
There's got to be fission products or pellets in the parking lot. Pellets of nuclear fuel were scattered around. Pellets, not atoms. I think plutonium is being reported around Fukushima's raw piece as a nuclear arise. They were blown out of Unit 3, which, by the way, was a nuclear detonation. It was a nuclear detonation. The plume went five miles in the air, and another study was nine miles. And got in the jet stream, showed up in North America immediately within three days. There were spent fuel and pellets and whatever all over the place of the planet. NRC, top man in Japan. Plutonium evacuates and spread around its gas after Fukushima meltdown. Let me read you another five or six uh, headlines out of each of these from my documentary. Nuclear fuel fragments found over a mile away were ejected from the reactor cores. The reactor cores were actually ejected at number three, by the way. First time plutonium reported outside of Fukushima plant. Go read that headline. I mean, it's just the evidence I'm giving you that this is all solid information. Plutonium being found away from Fukushima, these are all different medias around the world. It's from nuclear fuel fragments blown out after explosion. Plutonium being found away from Fukushima. Plutonium likely ejected from fuel pools during explosion up to several miles from the reactor. Pieces out of fuel pools, not the reactor, but they were also found up to 30 kilometers away. Spent nuclear fuel flew 30 kilometers away. Uh, picked up by the military. They should have evacuated out to 300 kilometers. Let's go over to another folder and read eight or nine. <coughs> Excuse me. In the first hundred hours, um, 7.6 trillion beckles of Neptunium. Neptunium, 7.6 trillion. 239 and uh, 120 billion beckles of just plutonium, but the Neptunian turns to plutonium, right? Released in the first 100 hours. The media hid it away. IAEA informed in March, the number one reactor core started melting after 50 minutes. Melted pile of fuel in 3.5 hours. May 23rd, 2011. Impossible the bulk of melted fuel is in the unit one containment because it went through it, right? But I'm just saying the headlines... Because I got it all. Proof that the fuel fragments were sneezed at a unit one. 225 sievers at unit one. May the 30th, 2011. Most don't know, but when reactor one melted down altogether five hours, and they almost lost one third of the nation, they did lose uh, two thirds of the nation, if not more. Let me get to that. Video believed to show parts of internal structure in Fukushima unit one containment vessel scattered around. Three inch thick lead plates have disappeared. See, that's important, up to a million sievers per hour. A million. A million. Think about it. I'll just leave it on that. That's important. Um, not only that, Reactor 5 and 6 were in heart attack mode too, right? Reactor 3, did I get to Reactor 3 and 4 that time? No, I better jump ahead. Hang on. Because I got them all, there's so many of them. U.S. media only mentioned reports about melt-through at reactor number one, not at two and three. PBS, 30 times more strontium, 90, than cesium at Fukushima. Wherever you hear cesium, there was 30 times more strontium. That's what it trolls around my ass all the time. 100 million beckles per cubic centimeter radioactive radioactivity estimated for Fukushima sludge. June the 10th, 2011. Spent fuel pool in reactor number four damaged and leaking. Uh, UK top scientific officer. Jap confirms full meltdown. Japs. Japan confirms full meltdown at all three reactors. June the 6th, 2011. Well, Japs. Uh, the explosion just from unit one generated missiles that endangered the containment integrity. Like all these rods were projectiles. Think about that, folks. Uh, 220 million beckles a liter of cesium in number two spent fuel pool. One, two, and three clearly have significant spent fuel pool damage. That was early in the game, right? So a lot of these, these are the headlines. And because I'm, I might read you a different headline with more or less or whatever, it's about giving you that picture though, right, of all these headlines talking about the one subject. Broken pieces of nuclear fuel rods found outside of reactor 2, covered up by bulldozers. 220 million Beckwells here, 400 million deer, trillion deer, blah! Just amazing amount 
of lying and manipulating and uh, deception. The cores. Did I do any of the cores here? Each reactor holds 3,450 assemblies. Each assembly was uh, 80 rods. The rods are 12 feet long. And they're, they're disappeared. This is hell on earth, right? Chernobyl is still burning itself down towards the center of the earth, okay? These are on their way down to Argentina. Think about how every nuclear plant, backup plan on the planet is to hemorrhage into your water or your into your oceans or into your rivers. They need an enormous inconceivable amount of water, like a million gallons a minute, running around outside of them to keep them cool. You know, you gotta really take it into consideration what happened here. There's three melted cores that are missing. This is unprecedented. It turned to liquid uranium. Never even seen this before on the planet that we know about. They sprayed salt water into these buckyballs, radioactive buckyballs. Our, our uh, erythal peroxide sulfur compounds with about 60 joints and they ingest the atoms and the particles of uranium, plutonium and the strontium and the cesiums and all their daughters into the buckyballs, and the buckyballs are not solutable in water, like some radioactive isotopes are, but not all of them, certainly. Just some of the later ones. But these, this, this is important because it can be transported around the planet and re-liberated. It. It's that kind of not solutable in water. A lot of the stuff, it'll come over and it'll get into your soil and it won't re-liberate, but it ain't going away. Let me keep going here. So 3,450 spent fuel pool assemblies. 3,450 in the reactors each. It's a half a million pounds in one, two, and three, I think, all together. Common pool holds 6,291 fuel rods. The Fukushima de plant, uh, Diachi military industrial complexes that only makes isotopes for military industrial weapons for the lasers and directed energy weapons contain over 600,000 spent fuel rods. That was one estimate. That's all I'm saying, right? So you need to hear those numbers. This was early in the game. I snatched that day one. Within one day, complete meltdown and melt through occurred. There was no way the government didn't know about it. They made 5,000 models. The walls are cracked below the ground at the Fukushima reactor buildings when the earthquake came through. Okay, let me go over and say hi to a few people real quick. And I'll get back in on that. Looks like I'm buzzed out of here. Um, hang on a second, folks. We're almost into I just had to refresh that page because I'm having issues here. Don't even know if we're still watching. Yep, I'm still there. Kinda. Says I'm live. Hi Adam. Everything looks good, right folks? Everything's okay. I look a lot bigger than I actually am because of uh, the screen. Yeah, you, uh, Arthur Voice says you can make yourself 90% cancer immune by eating the right stuff, right? And that's what I'll be doing with the video, uh, the, the documentary. I'll start that off with how to eat and take care of yourself. Hi, uh, Grandma Goldie. But the Hawk Boy, Lunar, Bill Wallace. Just say hi to a few people. Okay, here we go again. That's pretty bizarre. And this is for, you know, um, I screwed that up. There we go again. Japan. This is some crazy stuff. Ninety-one thousand tons of highly radioactive sludge may end up uh, in soil for gardening, for growing food. 
highly radioactive. Government says 1,500 tons of highly radioactive sludge may end up as soil for gardening. Uh, 50,000 tons of sludge water at a treatment facility has been found to contain extremely high uh, radioactive. Just five prefectures. All the prefectures are shown now. Highly radioactive sewage found 30 miles from Fukushima. 334,000 becquels a kilogram. Debris from Fukushima nuclear plant is being ground up and burned in other parts of Japan. The disposal of the quake debris begin in uh, started in Tokyo November 4 2011 to be burned in Koto over a billion pounds so they're re-liberating the radioactive material back into the environment Japan to burn drums of unprocessed radioactive waste from nuclear accident facility to be built 100 kilometers from Tokyo June 26 2012 they're mentally retarded Burning drums of unprocessed radioactive waste. But well, we want to open up our power plants again. That the Greenpeace are out there, the, the green lovers out there are saying the global warming is we gotta have more nuclear power. Are you crazy? Have you lost your friggin' mind? What kind of planet are you on? They found plutonium in every sample. On the pavement everywhere. Now Minna sold me. Soma uh, city. Iodine 131 was detected in Tokyo in multiple locations during November. Right? So iodine with an 80 day full life, but a, a 8 day half life. Go figure that one out. 350 beckles a kilogram at the garbage facility. Why were they finding the iodine then? Because it hasn't stopped hemorrhaging out of the three melted reactors since. So when you're finding iodine later than its half life, it's still going on. We know what's going on. We just got to get uh, the rest of the world to admit it. Is government trying to contaminate every region of Japan by burning radioactive debris? If everyone is contaminated, then in a relative sense, nobody is. That's the most bizarre headline you can imagine. Incinerating radioactive material could contaminate the environment. Gee, you don't suppose? They're created at uh, thousands and thousands of degrees. That man can't replicate without running away from it. Because it's nuclear fusion. How the fuck is burning it in an incinerator, excuse the language, ever going to contain it or control it? You get it? Fukushima plant will burn radioactive waste. Incinerators will run around the clock. June the 2nd, 2003. Well, why the fuck not? It's coming out of the, the hole in the ground. What's the big deal, right? They're mentally retarded. Iodine 131, 350 kilometers from Fukushima at a sewage plant. Right? So everybody's pooping out the iodine 131. Do you get it now? Do you get it fucking now? And the sewage plant is completely contaminated because everybody is ingesting all that iodine. Thank fuck they're not looking for plutonium and uranium. Thank Jesus they're not looking for all that strontium every time they hear the word cesium. Japan burning Fukushima debris 10 miles from Diachi nuclear plant. <laughs> do anything for a fucking dollar. Do anything. I will fucking do anything for a dollar. That's what. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll burn it. Give me seven bucks a fucking hour. <laughs> Jesus. It's sickening. I know it's gallows laughing you hearing. My feet are moving around here, like kind of, yay, Dana. It's like, ah. Impact on oceanic environment. An unpredictable amount of damage to the Pacific. Unpredictable. Gee. <laughs> Massive radioactive waste build up in Tokyo suburbs. Yeah. I think that's a freaking understatement. Tokyo official blast parents who wants kids to avoid ingesting radioactivity at the school. It's important to share the fucking pain. Surge in radioactive season levels caused incinerators in Tokyo to shut down. Probably from fucking diapers. Whew. That's how fucking twisted up this shit is. Radioactive fallout around Fukushima incinerator plants being hidden. Why bother? The whole fucking country is polluted from one end to the other end. Tokyo neighborhood cesium approaching levels found in Fukushima. Tokyo. 
They're going to move the government out of Tokyo, right? You have to burn 100 tons of radioactive waste from Germany and Tennessee. You had to throw that one in there. They're all freaking crazy. Fukushima starts burning radioactive waste, 100 beckles a kilogram, 1 billion pounds of debris in the exclusion zone. They're not, how you got, what's the sense of cleaning everything up if you're going to take all the incinerators and bury it under that shit again? What's the fucking sense of it? What are you fucking doing? What is wrong with your heads? How mental are you? How fucking mental are you fuckers? Fucking stop. Just stop. Stop. Let the world come in and help you. Just fucking stop, man. Just stop. You got the whole goddamn planet on the run now. Stop it. You got to let us in there. You can't fucking do this. The fuck? Over a million beckles a kilogram radioactive cesium. There's 30 times more strontium. They bother to look for it. They don't even look for the plutonium. Minam Minami Soma City. You can't live in that. Japan is not supposed to be there. They should have been out of there. The fuck is wrong with you people? How? Why are you letting this happen? Radioactive cesium. Radioactive rain, rain caused 130 schools in Korea to close. Japan, fuck them. 5,000 models. Fuck them. Don't even show it to them. Fuck them. Don't tell them nothing. Fuck them. It's their own loved ones. Their own family. Their own cousins. Their own aunts. Their own children. Their own spouses. The people they work with. The people they play cards with. The people they go for a drink with. The restaurants. They, the people they go look in the face at the restaurant. Where... What the fuck is going on? How did we lose control? Why are you doing this? Do you think your pension is actually going to be there? Do you think it'll be enough? You have to liquidate all your assets just to get deal with the cancer that's here. They're trying to raise... Ken Busler is going out there right now telling all these people that we're allowed to have 10,000 beckles of cesium-137 in our drinking water. So it's okay? That tells you they're out there doing this behind our backs, getting the governments to set the stage to do it. They create a laws in Japan that you're a terrorist if you're a fucking activist. That you're a terrorist if you do what I'm doing. That what I'm doing is the very definition of terrorism in Japan. Japan is the very definition of what a democracy will ultimately do to you. Rather than do the right thing. Rather than do what they're paid to do. They were paid to create those 5,000 models. And share it with everybody. You can engineer DCA in the food so they don't get the cancer. Look at the link below. You can engineer nutrition back into the food. Because you engineered it all fucking out. If it's necessary. To stop the misery and the suffering you're giving these people. Forecast has all the California radiation threat on April the 6th and the 7th. This was Norwegian Institute. This was the Norwegian Institute showing the massive plume hanging over North America on April the 6th and the 7th. It's not like the plumes ever stopped coming out of there. Think of a river where you pour a bucket of dye in and then you follow it down river. Okay. You get it? Not going to be too bad. You'll get a little bit thick. Say it was green dye or red dye. It'll be red down the river for a way and then it'll disperse. Think about a river where you got 10 people pouring a truckload of dyes instead of a bucket into that river. And you're going to go down the river and follow it and see where it finally ends up. And they're going to do that for three years. Not a bucket, but three years of dumping truckloads of dye in that river. It's going to fill up every estuary. It's going to fill up every lake along the way. 
in three years because you didn't stop putting it in there. Yeah? You get that? Can you wrap your fucking minds around that? Can you picture that? Does that make any sense? Am I fucking missing something here? Because radiation is invisible, it doesn't matter? Because you can't smell it, it doesn't fucking matter all of a sudden? Because you can't hear it, it doesn't matter. And because you can't see it, it doesn't matter. Because you can't see it, like all that stuff in that fucking river, it doesn't matter. You think again. You guess again. You liquidate your assets to pay for your children's cancers. And you come back and fucking tell me it didn't matter. That it was worth holding on to a job and not speaking out. That it was worth capitulating and destroying a nation, an ocean, and a planet with radioactive fallout. Can you imagine being Ken Busler when people find out what he's doing from Woods Hole? Imagine being Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution when this finally breaks, when the truth finally comes out of what they're doing. Do you think that radioactive isotope that goes out and falls out of the sky into the ocean and rains into the ocean, covers the entire ocean, just from that alone, not counting... The dye, the plume that's coming out of Fukushima every minute of every second, every that's 141 minutes a day of hemorrhaging. Like truckloads of dye in a river. It just doesn't stop. That's why there's the headlines, 3,000 miles, the ocean is broken, 3,000 miles, never seen a fucking animal. I spent 14 years as a commercial diver. I spend... The other half of my life at that time, on the ocean, growing up on the ocean, in a community that still has no cars. I know the ocean. And I understand the radiation. The isotope falls down. It's killing all the phytoplankton at the surface right away. It goes down. If it finally gets on the ocean floor, just a tiny percentage of it will head down to the floor because it's it micron sizes. It's different salinity levels in the ocean, different ocean temperatures, different speeds. We got all the models from all the institutions. That's just one set me off that time. Striking the radioactive iodine, 131 in California rainwater is so far above permissible in drinking water. It's not permissible in drinking water at all. The only thing permissible in drinking water is potassium-40. And that's what Ken Buesler especially is, is. That's what all the nuclear apologists, the nuclear lecturers, the nuclear... Uh, Slaves, the people that in the institutions, the universities, are all traitors. They're all hacks. They're all creatures. They're, they're not even humans. They're nuclear critters. Anybody that makes them living off nuclear with that kind of education is not human. That's not human. That's a nuclear critter. That's a fucker who knows the difference. Iodine 131 from Fukushima, San Francisco, 18,000 percent above friggin' drinking water standards, which is 7,000 becquerels potassium 40. If you drink it, you off gas 7,000 becquerels potassium 40. If you ingest 18,000 percent more of iodine 131, you get cancer. And you're not just getting the iodine 131. It's never one of these by themselves. They only travel in groups of everything. Congratulations. That's one of the big secrets of this. Is that if there's iodine 131, there's 132 and 133. Ten times as much of each of them. There was iodine 129 with a 15 million year half-life. There was CCM 137, 134 at least. 135. That, that has 300 year life. And there was 90, uh, 30 times more strontium 90, which is leukemias, diabetes, autoimmune deficiencies. Unimaginable scales coming down the road. Cancer doesn't grow overnight, shitheads. Where's all the cancers? Where's all the dead people? Shut the fuck up, stupid. Shut the fuck up. Anybody says that is a monster. Where's all the cancer, Dana? It's fucking coming. Make no mistake about it. Cancer doesn't grow overnight, you retard. That's the beauty. The only thing you got saving your ass is cancer doesn't happen overnight. The hair was falling out of people down to remember. People were dropping dead down to remember. No one ever died, Dana. But I show you all the headlines. But nobody never died, Dana. Just go and tell that to everybody in the media over and over and over. 
Radioactive strontium found in Hawaii milk. They also found uranium. Lots of cesium. Don't mention the cesium and the strontium in the same sentence. Fukushima plume contacted North America to California with the greatest exposure in central and southern California. And then the rain washes it back out to your coastlines, right? Out of your neighborhoods that don't get settled in your soil immediately. Think about all the buckyballs in California. 1,500 in a cubic meter of air, radioactive atoms. You ingest them, you're getting another tumor. Your body attacks it, tries to put it in the sarcophagus. Remember, the ocean currents are traveling even at a, up to 9 kilometers an hour, but say at a mile an hour, it's going to be across the ocean 24 hours a day. It'll be across the ocean 227 days. Not three years, not four years, not fucking five years. And then you came with the jet streams and the studies showing it going up in five and nine miles and the dispersion that I'm showing you here of the rain outs in Oregon and Washington, university researchers, um, Worcester Polytechnical Institution, rain out, radioactive rain out from Fukushima and Oregon and Washington. They're breeding 10 hot radical, radioactive particles a day down there. These buckyballs, sulfur peroxide, urethal, buckyballs we were talking about earlier. You see Berkeley is constantly, constantly out there stabbing you to death. They're always trying to raise the drinking water standards by 27%, 27 times. Iodine. Let's not forget it, that there's reactors made of uranium and plutonium, folks. Don't forget that part, okay? Shock. You see Berkeley, Professor claims, no matter what happens in Fukushima, it's not going to be a problem over here. No way. Not 18,000 percent more San Francisco. La, 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 la. No, no, no. I'm a university professor. Very high concentration of hot particles in Pacific Northwest during April and May include plutonium and americium. Don't forget the uranium, motherfucker. 234, 235, 238s. Don't forget plutonium 238, 239, 240, 241. Oh, fuck. I gotta stop doing shit like that. The air over Seattle was loaded with hot particles. Yum, buckyballs. Woo! Bring it on, bitches. I want my buckyballs. My TV. Fox News will tell me everything I want to know. Just because there's 4,800 peer-reviewed academic studies, they're locked up. We need Fox News because all those studies are locked up every fucking day at Ellsworth, Springer, and Wiley. They get the copyrights to all your universities and institutions, peer-reviewed academic studies. And you pay for it. <laughs> and you're not fucking gullible, are you? No, not at all. You don't even probably know it. Independent French Radiation Commissioner warns Europe Europe, that health risk from Fukushima fallout is no longer ineligible. Gee, you don't fucking say. French got some good studies out there, though. Los Angeles got hammered. The U.S. West Coast bore a significant brunt of hot particles from a study in... in um, where was that study to? Bologna? B-E-L-L-O-N-A? the hell is the name of the institution? Charles... Don't... Hang on. No, Dana. Cesium and iodine both the 600% EPA maximum containment levels in Hawaii milk. 600% above the containment levels. In milk. No, Dana, I never made it over to Hawaii. La, 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 la. la, 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 la. No, Dana, you're, always, you're a fucking crippled liar. You crippled, the, the last vest teachers to come out and call me names. Danny, you crippled old bastard. You crippled old fucker. That was actually my game on Xbox, my, my name. I used to play Xbox. Crippled old bastard. Crippled old fucker, actually, but the uh, Xbox wouldn't let me have it. Feds made radioactive xenon-133 from Fukushima detected two days ago in Washington State. La, 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 no, Danny, I never made it over here. La la's dispersed in the ocean, Dana. La 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 la. Fukushima fall in Hampshire. No, Dana. 12,000 atoms per square meter, Dana. No. La 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 la. It never made it here, Dana. It dispersed in the ocean. It's harmless. Blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. 
Large radiation cloud near in California. No, Dana, it never made it over here. It dispersed in the fucking ocean. The jet streams are not real. There's no radiation from one end of Japan to the other. East to the west, to the north, to the south, is it? I haven't covered that enough, have I? Retards. High concentration radiation hits the U.S. and Canada. Yum, yum. Plume was rich in cesium-137. Yeah, it's close to the surface. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. -hoo -hoo -hoo. There's a link below to that one. Uh, also, Hawaii and Florida got fucking hammered with that plume. What do you think it's just like, it's like snow or just fucking melts and goes away? Huh? Do you? Do you really think that? Do you? Huh? Do you? You don't think that's not everywhere all the time now? Eleven Beck will damage your kid's heart living in that environment. Fifty damage will damage your organs living in that environment. What the fuck do you think you're living in? It's got nothing to do with potassium-40. We're talking about fission products, folks. Anybody says banana or drinking water, potassium, or fucking potatoes, walking in the sunshine, or x-rays, there's the good one. No, oh, no worse than a dental x-ray or a chest x-ray. No worse than taking a walk or flying in a fucking plate. Well, a Rad chick totally blows it away anyway, flying in a plane. I can't even use that one anymore because she came out <laughs> with this brutal, links below, research of how many before and how many after 311 of people having issues on planes. It's huge. Well, the plane's flying through the fucking jet streams. Of course it's going to be de uh, contaminated. Look what they had to do on the deck of the U.S. Ronald Reagan. They had to change 12 motors in helicopters. Twelve fucking motors. They had to pull out of helicopters. They were so contaminated with radiation from flying through the plume. What do you think those jets are doing up there constantly? They're flying through the massive amount of radioactive particle. Think about driving down a dirt road or driving on pavement a short distance to the shop every day. And then one day you go for a long drive down a dirt road and it starts raining. And you get back home and you look at your car and you say, wow, look at all that shit in my car. Well, that's what we're talking about. Hot particles bombarded the U.S., West Coast, and Canada, contaminating fucking everything. Hot, hot particles found at two out of three U.S. monitoring stations during April, including Boston. Major cancers coming. Nowhere to run. Hot radioactive particles in Seattle at 50% of the levels seen in Tokyo. Tokyo. Got hammered. Brutal. Fucking lawyers, boy. Traitors. Just traitors. Latches onto your lung tissue. Let me grab another folder for everybody. Oh, I wish I was in anywhere but Japan today. My heart goes out to people in Japan. Don't get me wrong. Oh, got a scratch in here. That's kind of up. Don't do that thing. I should make clear that if the EPA dr safe drinking water levels don't apply to rainwater, nothing does. Uh, that's an interesting statement, see? Tokyo Hospital for sale. Tokyo Hospital is owned by TEPCO. October the 1st, 2012. Dirty fuckers, boy. Dirty, unimaginable skinks. TEPCO is the most vile creature on the planet. So is uh, General Electric, don't get me wrong. Don't, so is the war machine, don't get me wrong. So is the nuclear industry in whole. But this is about Fukushima's third anniversary, okay? So I can go way down that road, and I have many times. Everybody knows that. And Tokyo Hospital for Sale will dispatch its doctors to Fukushima to treat workers. Tokyo Hospital owned by TEPCO. That's sickening. That's pretty convenient. In a big nuclear industry owns the hospital. And the workers can't get no treatment or being rejected. Signs in the door, we don't treat radiation sickness. That's a fact. I won't, probably won't get to those headlines. Thinks I'm still on the back of the boat. 50 becquels a kilogram in humans lead to irreversible lesions in vital organs. You know how they're raising the limits now to 1,200 becquels a kilogram, right? Right around North America. Nuclear radiation, the most carcinogenic thing that exists. Government estimates says Japan population shrink by 40 million in the next 50 years. <laughs> Landmark study presents strongest evidence to date. 
By the way, these cigarettes don't have 4,000 chemicals in them like your normal cigarettes. Whoever come up with the idea to put 4,000 chemicals in the cigarettes should be shot and executed immediately. The EPA grandfathered in 65,000 chemicals when they were created, and that's why you allowed 4,000 chemicals legally in a cigarette. This one doesn't have them. They don't give a shit. doesn't have a filter on the end. That's the biggest hoax out there. A filter is safer. It makes the particles smaller to get through the liner of your lungs easier. The quickest way to start quitting smoking, besides switching to something with no chemicals in it, <laughs> is to get rid of the filter. Get rid of it now. It's evil what it does to you. It's evil. As if the 4,000 chemicals are not hideous enough, as if the filters that are made of fiberglass and everything else are not hideous enough. The fact they make the chemical, the particles, particulates smaller to the point where they get through the liners of your lungs should raise a lot of concern, right? 4,000 chemicals, so don't, 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 don't give me a hard time. So okay to smoke once in a while, as long as you're not smoking 4,000 chemicals. They've been doing peer review studies to give a nicotine giving you cancer for how many decades? They still can't link it. Please, 4,000 chemicals. But try doing a study on that and see how fast you can link it to cancer. Disinformation by the nuclear proponents that tries to confuse the public about effects of internal and external radiation. Not just cancer, how low doses of radiation cause heart diseases and strokes. Gee, I never heard of that one. Children's risk of cancer from radiation 10 to 100 times higher than an adult. Officials sharply raised the radiation level 75 times higher than the World Health Organization recommends for children after Fukushima. 75 times higher. That's not monsters. Fuck the World Health Organization anyway. They are monsters. But, but the officials, the people that you're paying to do the opposite of that, the people you're paying their pensions, their wages your officials, and all countries have been doing this, but not to that extent, that's Japan. Gunderson, we're finding that the girls are having as much as twice as many thyroid lumps as boys. Girls having twice as many thyroid lumps as boys. Fukushima. That's frightening. It's clear that low level contamination is more dangerous probably than a single dose. Whew. I almost went all day. Grasshoppers with deformed wings, gray eyes, not red. Birds with abnormal sperm, strange large tumors from low level contaminants. Infants deaths are also up in BC, Canada after Fukushima. It's collaborates with a US study. There's uh, up to 20,000 Americans died after Fukushima as of the previous year's numbers for certain diseases. Don't be fooled by paid industry consultants. Low doses of ionizing radiation do cause cancer. Right, so you get an x-ray, you're not getting deionized, you're not ingesting radioactive particles. There goes the argument, right? There goes your argument that a x-ray is equal to Fukushima. Remember, California had 1,500 radioactive particles in the square meter. Another study was 20,000 Beckwell's disintegrations in a liter of rainwater. And rain doesn't fall by the liter, you know that. That accumulates, okay, on top of that from everything else that was already there. And they were just looking for iodine. They weren't looking for the iodine 132, 133, 129. With a 15 million year half life, they weren't looking. There's for every four iodine-131, one of them is an iodine-129 with a 15 million year half-life, 150 million year lifespan. Because all half-lives are times 10. That's how you get your final number, how long. But think about they, they go into another radioactive isotope and another radioactive isotope and another radioactive. Data shows a large spike in deaths, particularly infant deaths, in the 14 weeks following the Fukushima meltdown. NRC wants radiation exposure limits 100 times higher than the EPA. You hired those people not to do that. Not, not to show you the truth. That's what they're there for. They're there to monitor it and tell it to you. Not hide it away. All of this is being hid away from you. None of this is being discussed in the media. 
All the media is pumping out Ken Buesler in the last two months heavily for this anniversary. Ken Buesler equates everything with bananas and with potassium-40. Potassium-40 in a banana, you eat the banana, you off-gas the same amount of potassium-40. It's homeostasis. It's like a thermostat. It's like a cruise control on the car. Your body regulates it. If you drink 7,000 Beckles in a glass of water, you off-gas to 7,000 Beckles. If you drink 7,000 Beckles of iodine, you get cancer. Plus, you, there's more cancer, different types of cancer. Because you're drinking plutonium and uraniums. You're drinking strontium and cesium. They're different types of cancers. So you get more than one type of tumor, one more types of autoimmune deficiencies. Children with over 11 Beckles a kilogram, cesium start to see heart problems. They're trying to raise it 100 times the limit that it already is, like 1,200 Beckles. Raise it 100 times above that because it's so fucking contaminated. And they got the GMO food out there, and the GMO food got fuck all nutrients and fuck all minerals, just enough to be able to call it a vegetable, but it's not actually a vegetable anymore. They got rid of most, almost all of the calcium. This is the hard way of saying it. They got almost rid of all of the C uh, potassium. They got rid of almost all, because if I say... They got rid of it all. Somebody out there will come after me and say, oh, they didn't get rid of it all. You can't have a plant without it. But there's just... They got rid of it, almost all of it. They left a couple of little tiny parts per million in the vegetables. They took all the nutrients and all the minerals except for a tiny bit of it out. They engineered it in glossophates, which don't even allow you to take nutrients. Not that there's any nutrients in it. And that's what all fast foods are. That's what all your corner shops 100% is. That's what all your pop and all your gum and all your chocolate bars are. That's what all your chips is. All your fucking ice cream is. Everything in your cans. Everything on your shelves at all your grocery shops is literally contaminated or that. Unless you look specifically somewhere else, you're going to get contaminated. But no, no, no nutrients. How is your body going to fight off the cancer? Turmeric has 600 peer review studies on it. DCA below... Reduces all tumors by 70%. They could do that for Japan as a sign of good faith. Couldn't it? But no, they got this is intentional. They're doing this to the entire planet intentional. And people are perpetrating it, enabling it for a paycheck. Because that's the society we live in. If we're not creating 5 million orphans in Afghanistan... To get 11,000 Taliban, we're just trying on the planet somewhere else, somehow their way. Just a handful of corporations, the same, always the same handful of corporations. In every war, it's the same handful of corporations, manufacturers, same countries, weapons manufacturer making a fortune every time. Same, but it's the same handful of companies in all the countries. And now that don't even matter anymore, because they got the job done now with radiation and they won't engineer nutrition into the food and take the toxins out they won't engineer cancer fighting agents in your food we could do all this with like natural food you would have to get 428 corn on the cob to get the same amount of calcium in a single organic corn on the cob of GMO 428 GMO to get the same amount of calcium because they engineered it out of the corn to that extent and then that corn is using all your staples. You, you used to eat 8,500 plants. Now you eat seven. And they're a GMO. There's no nutrients in it. And the nutrients are made up out of 1,200 chemicals out of the 65,000 chemicals that the EPA grandfathered in. So you're not even getting fucking nutrients. Because 1,200 of those chemicals with no environmental or human impact studies from the EPA are considered food under the definition of the crazies but a single corn on the cob has more calcium more energy than the back of your car filled up with GMO corn on the cob can you eat 428 corn on the cob no in a meal no can you eat a single corn on the cob of organic in a meal and you got all this energy now you can do the dishes and go for a walk Or whatever, right? Help your child. But when you eat that stuff, you feel like crap. And so, even, you know, dandelion has all the minerals and all the nutrients in it. Every friggin' one of them. 
And what does Monsanto do? It sells the Roundup, and on the can is the dandelion. The most, the, the biggest treat we got on this planet, the best thing that ever happened to this planet. It's got every mineral and every nutrition the human body needs. It's a complete meal in a, in a plant. You can, eat, you can eat, pick it up and eat it. You can pick it up and eat the flower, eat the leaves, eat the roots, make tea out of the roots, boil it for 40 minutes, low heat, make tea out of it. You can make a lot of tea out of a single dandelion root. You just chop it up and eat it. Boil it up with your vegetables and put all that nutrition into your food. But Japan... Japan uh, goes around pretending they're cleaning it up, and then the incinerators are burning it and spreading it all over the country again. Japan has three reactors that are 100% melted down, with an unbelievable amount of fuel rods in it, you know, constantly hemorrhaging out radioactive particles that are so microscopic, one ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter, that are naturally airborne, that can naturally be transported anywhere right around the entire planet. The models out there are showing that we have radioactive fallout in the first 40 days covered the entire northern hemisphere from one end to another end. It was relentless. Just a couple of headlines. Canada had 300 times background levels of iodine-131. So it had 10 times as much as that of iodine-132, 10 times as much again as iodine-133. They would have had cesium-134 just as much. They would have had the cesium-137 just as much. They would have had 30 times as much as all of that of strontium-90. They would have had uh, 30 times as much iodine to 300 times normal. There's no such fucking thing as normal. Normal to them is actually... 700 becquerels of potassium 40, which is I can drink, but if I drink 7,000 becquerels of potassium or uh, iodine or strontium or uranium or plutonium, because they all travel together and the reactors were run on uranium and plutonium, not on fucking iodine or strontium or cesium. Even though they're fucking terrible, don't get me wrong, they're a huge concern. There's so much of that that builds up in the rods and is released in the accident. This is uh, radiated atoms and particles and isotopes they fill up the ocean you know like you're like you're putting truckloads of dye in the river as quick as you can non-stop and you just don't stop for three years that's what they've done to the ocean the plume didn't stop going into the ocean therefore the plume has to get extremely thick extremely fast the ocean currents travel at 100 uh, jet streams at 100 miles an hour it only takes three days to carry it across 24 hours 2400 miles an hour so the ocean at a mile an hour, it's still going to get here in 227 days. The rainstorm's going to pick it up, bring it in, drop it all over the coastline. But I'm a fucking crazy old cripple. I'm just an angry old man. Blah. That I'm incompetent. I don't know anything about what I'm talking about. When all I really do, all day, every day, you can go back to my videos, you see what I do. I have to come out fresh with something new every night, kind of, routine. Because of people like Ken Buesler and Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and Jay Cullen and uh, Brian Hanley and Dr. Chad and Dr. Raymond Gilmetti, you know, the plutonium dog mass murderer. Go back and look for the picture of the little dog last week that I done. And, you know, why not... As a sign of good faith, just admit to what we got done, put all the universities to solve some of the issues, to take all the institutions and put nutrition back in the food, just sign a good faith, put DCA in the food to stop the cancers, put in, you know, stop the fucking wars, let's try to save something in the ocean, let's try to save coastlines, let's look at the Philippines, 44 provinces destroyed, by 195 mile an hour sustained winds, an F4 tornado 100 miles wide. We've never seen that on Earth before. We've seen projections what it would look like on Mars. That's what it looks like. Now we see it on Earth. This is after a typhoon swept over Japan, picked up all these radioactive isotopes. It's millions and billions of becquels right across the entire country, everywhere you go. It's unimaginable. The entire country is polluted till the end of time. The coastline is non-stop hemorrhaging into the ocean. 
And so typhoons, I mean, I got a headline there, the typhoons could suck all the water out of the fuel pools and leave them fucking dry and they would, right? Why did Japan on October the 25th, uh, 2013, shut down the internet? Why is there an internet blackout? Well, you know, all of this and all the things that we talk about every night is because you can't hide what's going on or you can't just keep increasing the radiation doses. What are you going to do when all the cancers start showing up? And let me, get, let me come over and say hi. Good night, everybody. Tomorrow I'll be coming out with another live stream uh, for the anniversary. And I'll take another go at these fuckers. I'll come back over here. I'll come over to the page and say good night to everybody. It's been a rough couple of uh, days, me going down the path of trying to finish the documentary and realizing that's not the right thing for me to do. But I will be putting out a 20-minute uh, video or so tomorrow of some interesting stuff. I, yeah, hi, thanks, Daniel. Miss Milky! Toxic! Wanna be live 24? Alex Smith, hey, buddy. M. Thurst, Deep Sea Diver, Deep Sea Diver. Stacy. Fix it stupid, you're welcome. I miss Milky. We love you, sweetie. Standing foot. Grandma Goldie. Mickey Smith, broken ass Islander. Cap Red. Red Button Studios, everybody. Deep Sea Diver. Why you gotta be all such an asshole, man? What do you think I'm reading here? I'm reading all the headlines from studies, from the institutions, from universities, from professors. And then, but you're going to come in here and claim that I got to go listen to Ken Drusler or Jay Cullen or the controlled idiotic uh, PR firms, puppets. Like, you can't disprove anything I'm saying here. All you can do is come in and make salacious comments and innovations about me. Try to marginalize me by calling me cripple as if that makes me fucking... Uh, incompetent or something is that what you because that's what you're projecting out there that because I was on the ocean for 128 days on the ocean floor six hours a day that's two marathons on the human body and I wake up in a hyperbaric chamber that somehow that makes me a bad fucking person that I'm making $29 a minute but that made me a bad person because I fucked up because I can't control all the veritables. You know, fuck you, man. You coward. You traitor. You anti-human fucking maggot. You piece of shit. You dirtbag. You fucking flop. You fucking friendless fucker. You coward. You hide behind a ghost account. And you use that fucking on me. Do you got any fucking idea how hard I worked all my fucking life for everything I've ever fucking had? And that for me to know everything that I do know is because I'm at it all day nonstop. And then you're going to come in here and not even try to argue. Just come in, oh, you got to go listen to Ken Busler or Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, maggots. Why did Ken Busler? Hi, Lenny Floss. Just drives me nuts. Just hopeless that people like that exist, you know? Anyway, there we go, folks. How much I can say? The worst the worst of the worst is gonna come out on the anniversary. And all you can do is call me names. Is um Shows you how desperate they are. The fact that Ken Buesler was censored up on uh, USA Today. Today. Big headline. He got censored. He didn't get his rhetoric out there today. Shows you uh, we just won another one, didn't we? The fact that the trolls are here attacking me relentlessly. With account after account after account. I just wanted to see how serious they were. So I blocked about eight accounts tonight. 
of the same person and they are immediately with another salacious account attacking me salacious names is what I mean by that using salacious comments that are just ad hominem trying to distract me distract you shows you how desperate they really are shows you how effective the truth is once again a cubic centimeter of truth has more power than 300 million cubic kilometers of lies and manipulation and bullshit. It can't survive in a cent when there's a centimeter of truth around. And that's what they got to do. They got to come out and salaciously attack me with ad hominems. And that's a badge of honor. They're not the first. They won't be the last. That's just the way it is. We'll be back tomorrow night. Take care, everybody. Did I say goodnight to everybody? We'll get off to your hour and eight minutes. I'll just give it a chance to rewind here. And I'll just spend another extra minute and say hi. Good night to everybody before I take off. So you're not, if you're looking for information, we'll catch you later. John Townsend, the Dominate, Broken Ass, Megan Royce. Yeah, bless her heart, folks. Nuts for our Peralta. Reram, thanks everybody. Don't mind me. Sometimes I get, sometimes I get a little bit upset, but don't worry about it. Hi Deborah, how are you? Dub forward, Ken S. Yeah, the, the death enablers. Cats alive is gonna block them already. Good, good night, Stacy Lane. Amthurst, Grandma, Danny, Tosti Boy, Mickey. Uh, everybody else, TC. What can I say? Lunar, Sylvia. Let me screw it up. Make sure Peter. Subhumans, yeah. Night Wave. I think we got everybody. The Fukushima Hounds in particular. Don't mind the attacks. China and everybody else. We'll catch you folks tomorrow. I'll be putting out a 20 minute video. It's probably not going to be that good, but I got to put out something to make a statement. It'll have all the headlines in it. I got a few tricks tossed in there. Um, and like I said, a documentary. I got a gigabyte. It's like a thousand, not counting the pictures headlines so it's getting bigger getting better because you got to cover all the other subjects and everything that's attached to it and uh, this thing has made a lot of noise tonight i don't know what that's all about but it keeps jumping in and out we'll catch you folks tomorrow night and i'll be in to read the comments after and like you say i'm rejuvenated after a couple of days off so i'll be full steam ahead for another 10 or 20 days i guess before i gotta take another little break because that's how i roll